All right, gang, another quick update here. As you can probably see, the intake manifold is back on. Um, not too bad. Just make sure you put your gasket on before you actually try and slide it on. There's a stud in the back here, and there's a stud right here that you're going to want to slide it onto. It's going to need a little persuasion. I actually used a 4x4 and a mallet to hammer it here. And that kind of got it so it was in position. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven bolts that hold this thing on. So don't forget the two long bolts that go through it and hold it on the bottom part of it. And uh, that's a pretty straightforward operation. And then you're gonna wanna try and get it so it's lined up so it will actually mount to the metal plate that's underneath here there's a support mount that it actually screws into luckily the holes are slotted on it so you can get that together those are all 12 millimeter bolts and nuts um yeah i'm feeling pretty good right now so i'm probably going to take a coffee break at this point and pat myself on the back it's starting to look like an engine again um i didn't clean everything up that's because this truck's just going to go back to being a uh, a daily project, you know, um, driving it around, taking scrap to the dump and taking trash to the dump and everything. But I wanted to point out here the EGR valve. It's uh, this piece right here with this pipe that comes off the back, uh, it goes around the back to the manifold right here. Um, most cases, it's just two bolts and a gasket that goes between. But as I said before, this truck had. A stuttering problem and it went away once I capped off the EGR valve itself um, so to take it a step further I've got this uh, block off plate right here this is a aluminized block off plate that I got off of uh, eBay for a 240SX exact same thing it actually works on the VG32 um, I just want to take the two long bolts which if you look in this bag Two long bolts and two nuts and two washers go through the housing right here. Uh, the bolt goes through here all the way through the end here and then just put the nuts on the end of it and tighten it down. So the length of the bolt should be good enough to put the uh, black off plate between it. I'll never have to worry about EGR again. Uh, and this thing should run pretty good as I'm not trying to set any speed records of any kind here I'm just uh, you know just gonna drive her so what have we learned so far oh best thing for access um, while I'm thinking about it so you got the bypass hose here and everybody loves this this hose because they're always complaining that it's very difficult to get at. The best thing you can do for that is to give yourself room by uh, pulling the alternator, the upper alternator bracket out of the way or upper al alternator and just swing that out of the way. It gives you access to be able to get the, the hose in place here and here. So just make sure you got a, a hose clamp already on it because you're going from two very inconvenient locations and you've got to get it just right uh, or else you're gonna have leaks and the other thing that you're gonna want to do is instead of doing what I tried to do first which was put the uh, PCV hose on the actual valve itself you're gonna want to attach it to the bottom of the manifold because it's in a pain in the ass spot you're not gonna be able to get to so basically you're just gonna be taking this end of the hose and attaching it to this valve right here which is this bolt looking thing and a little silicone spray goes a long way because it uh, it just makes it so the hose slides on a lot easier. So, All right, well, that's your friendly update for now. This is pretty much it for showing you guys how to do the head gasket replacement and the timing chain replacement. Everything else is basically reversal of what you removed. If you guys have any questions, just uh, has, don't hesitate to leave a message down below. You can email me at nissanrallycrosstruck at gmail.com, or you can hit me up on Instagram, which is rainmaker underscore d21. Thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure bringing this project to you. Take it easy now. See ya.